The Young and the Restless has made several changes to the cast over the last several years. Some of the Soap's alumni have made it in Hollywood. However, not all of them have found that same fate. Whether by scandal, misfortune, or personal choice, many of daytime's most recognizable names have disappeared from both the television screens and our minds. Here's all the goss before you settle down to reminisce. After a six-year run on The Young and the Restless as Billy Abbott that included three daytime Emmy wins, Billy Miller walked away from the CBS series in 2014. When a beloved character on daytime soap leaves, fans want to know what happened that caused the exit. Sometimes it's a contractual thing. Sometimes it's because the star wanted to pursue other endeavors. In terms of Miller's sudden departure, it was a case of the actor and the network playing hardball over the contract. At the time, CBS daytime boss Angelica McDaniel wrote on Twitter, I respect his decision to move on and wish him great success in his future endeavors. Miller didn't comment on why he chose not to stay on Y&R. He joined General Hospital the same year as Drew Kane, where he remained through 2019. In December 2013, Adam Newman's portrayer Michael Muni was abruptly fired from the show after being hit by multiple scandals. Some reports claim that Muni was fired for allegedly groping co-star Hunter King, while others stated he was shown the door because the actor simply didn't get along with Eric Braden, who played his character's father, Victor Newman. After Muni's firing, gossip tabloid TMZ reported, Hunter went to the top brass at CBS Sony and accused Michael of grabbing her breasts on two separate occasions. She demanded Michael be fired or else she would file a police report against him. However, in an interview with the Huffington Post's Canada TV, the Veronica Mars alum refuted those claims, saying TMZ started the rumor. He went on to add that he hired a private investigator to get to the bottom of things and found that TMZ's information was sourced from a Florida blogger and made up entirely. Muni, who's actually married with three kids, revealed the reason why in our showrunners let him go was due to disagreements with show writers and co-star Eric Braden. Following the incident, the former daytime star revealed he struggled with coming to terms with it all. In 2019, he took to Twitter to remember his mother-in-law, who died by suicide, claiming he'd had intrusive thoughts post Y&R. Brenda Dixon originated the role of Jill Foster Abbott during the golden age of soaps and played the part from 1973 to 1980, and then again in 1983, until she was fired in 1987. Not one to take the firing laying down, Dixon filed a $10 million lawsuit against Columbia Pictures as restitution. In the suit, she claimed she had an affair with Y&R series creator, the late William J. Bell, who allegedly not only canned her when they broke up, but blacklisted her name in Hollywood. The former Miss California claimed she began the affair with Bell, who was more than twice her age when she was just 21. Since her departure from the show, Dixon's life has been filled with ups and downs. The actress has been divorced twice, and it was during her second divorce that she found herself in legal trouble. As per SoapCentral.com, Dixon refused to cooperate with a court order and was forced to spend three months in a Honolulu prison in 2008. She later claimed she wasn't given a fair divorce hearing because the judge ordered that she received no alimony and that the condo she and her ex shared would be sold and the profits divided between them. General Hospital fans recall Steve Burton walked away from his wildly popular role as Jason Morgan back in 2012, saying he wanted to spend more time with his family. But just months later, he popped up in Genoa City, wowing fans on an entirely different soap opera, playing the handsome but troubled Dylan McAvoy. During the week Burton debuted on the series as Dylan, the show experienced an increase of over 105,000 viewers. In October 2016, the veteran soap actor made an announcement that he would not renew his deal with The Young and the Restless, telling fans on Twitter that the decision came after with lots of reflection. Following a five-year absence during which he grabbed an Emmy for his role in Genoa City, Burton returned to Port Charles, and fans were certainly happy to welcome him back. The Y&R crew welcomed Victoria Rowell to the set in 1990. Her character, Drusilla Winters, went from a troubled teen to an upstanding member of Genoa City over 17 seasons. Unfortunately for fans, Raoul opted to be left out of her regular contract in 2007. The actress claimed that, before leaving the show, she faced years of racial discrimination, harassment, and resistance from the upper echelons of CBS, labeling daytime television as racist for not having enough African-American cast and crew. She also argued the directions of her storylines, which weren't heard, prompting her to leave. 
In February 2015, the ballet dancer turned model sued The Young and the Restless and Sony Pictures Entertainment for retaliation, alleging that she was blacklisted by the network and production company due to her speaking out against lack of diversity on and behind the cameras at the soap opera. Rao also alleged in her suit that she was denied writing and directing opportunities which have been granted to Caucasian actors. The case was later dismissed. After over a decade on YNR, portraying Australian conman Ethan Kane Ashby, Daniel Goddard was let go from the Sudzer in 2019. I am as shocked and gutted as you are. I almost didn't post, but I felt that the most loyal and loving fans an actor could wish for deserve to know and watch the last story arc knowing the rich meaning behind it," shared the actor who joined the CBS drama in 2007. I am forever grateful for the 13 years I have been a part of the YNR family, but sadly, it seems that without Neil and Lily, there is just no Kane. Goddard may not be making his on-screen home Genoa City anymore, but in real life, the TV star is definitely calling the United States his home, as he recently became a US citizen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. In 1985, the fresh-faced Don Diamant joined the cast as the new Abbott family gardener, Brad Carlton. He was known for his relationship with Tracy Abbott, Ashley Abbott, and Victoria Newman, as well as his business rivalries with Jack Abbott and Victor Newman. In December 2008, news broke that Diamant had been let go from The Young and the Restless. Fellow cast member Eric Braden spoke out on Diamond's firing, saying, I was very sad about that, to be quite frank with you. He did some of his best work in the last months. I always think that's a mistake to let people go that have been part of the fabric as long as he has been. If you want to save money, then cut down on hiring new actors. After the YNR dismissal, The Bold and the Beautiful's executive producer and head writer, Bradley Bell, hired the actor to play the character of businessman Bill Spencer Jr., a role he still plays today. In March 2019, Gina Tognoni took to her Instagram to share a tweet tribute to her character and her time on the soap as she said goodbye to her character Phyllis Summers and the show she had starred in for 485 episodes since 2014. Despite being seemingly kicked out of her role in favor of the original portrayer Michelle Stafford, Tognoni put out a professional and gracious statement thanking CBS and the series she'd called home for five years. The former One Life to Live and Guiding Light actress wrote, Five years ago, I was blessed to embrace the incredible character of Phyllis Summers Abbott. I am beyond grateful for the creative experience that The Young and the Restless has given to me, as well as the amazing relationships I made with the cast, crew, staff, producers, and writers. Olivia Winters on the CBS Daytime hasn't been seen in years. The character was first introduced when Tonya Lee Williams began playing the Doctor in 1990. She exited in 2005, but returned in 2007 for sporadic appearances and was last seen back in 2012. When Williams landed the role on the American drama, it was a dream come true, but the road to her acting accomplishments was paved with its share of trials. It was difficult for me just to find work as a black actress, Williams told HuffPost Canada. YNR took a lot of heat when they hired us. One of the assistants in the office showed me some very scary letters from audience members who were very angry that the show now had black people on it some really nasty letters filled with racist names you couldn't print now. In spite of these hurdles, Williams went on to earn two Emmy nominations for her role. Behind the scenes, the 62-year-old has been doing a lot of work, especially for young black Canadians and Canadians of color interested in working in the entertainment industry. In 2001, she founded the Real World Film Festival to address the issues surrounding a lack of diversity in the entertainment industry. Jessica Collins, Avery Bailey Clark, came to Genoa City after being hired by Victor Newman to be Sharon Newman's lawyer during the character's murder case. For her performance, she was honored with an Emmy Award in the category of Outstanding Supporting Actress. Collins was disappointed with Avery's storyline when the actress elected to leave in 2015. Since then, she had recurring roles in various TV programs, including NCIS and Grey's Anatomy. 
Patricia Cass debuted as the infamously ambitious Nina Webster in 1986. With her first run lasting 15 years, it was announced that the actress had requested to be released from her contract, leading to much speculation as to why she chose to leave. Cast publicist later issued a statement saying, Trisha has decided to take a sabbatical from Hollywood for an indefinite period of time. She is looking forward to spending some quality time with her new husband in Tennessee. Cast made guest appearances in 2008, 2013, and 2020. Emily O'Brien earned two Daytime Emmy Award nominations for her Jaina Hawks role, which she played beginning in 2006. Five years later, the English actress made her exit official, saying, I was on a run and my manager called me to say I was let go. If someone could have taken a photograph of me, I would have looked like I had just been electrocuted. After her stint on the show, O'Brien has kept busy, primarily working as an in-demand voice actress for animated series and video games like Call of Duty and God of War. In 2020, she returned to daytime television, making her Days of Our Lives debut as Gwyn. That's it for today. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and click the bell to make sure you stay up to date with celebrity gossip and the latest showbiz news.